Hey everyone. So recently I've been playing this game called Nikkei, right? It's that game where it has actually a really good story, a uh, pretty good gameplay, and uh, interesting angles on how they're doing things. So, yeah. <laughs> so the plan for today is go through all the girls over here and rate how their firing stances would bear in a real situation. Don't worry, I have four years worth of girls frontline experience. I think it'll be okay. So let's get down to it and check them out really quick. You know, this looks fairly stable. A uh, little questionable with a leg out over here, but not too bad overall. So yeah, all right. Okay, you have an SMG, very stable, impressive. Very nice, very, very nice. Nice firm stance on the ground. Maybe both legs should be down, but you know, that's not too bad. So yeah, you pass. You know, I'm not too sure how well this would actually work. There is a lot of kick to that shotgun. That's gonna wear on her left knee quite a bit. Otherwise though, maybe if you're in a pinch, this is not too bad. Oof, okay. Uh, problem right away over here. If you look at uh, both of her legs, they're both kind of going off, the, off at the same angle. She is going to fall. It's not very stable. Not very stable at all. You know, that's not bad. One leg down, one leg up. Ideally, though, you have something to rest that gun on. But in case, uh, in case you don't, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Very stable, actually. Very stable. A, a well-trained soldier uh, that can, you know, hold that stance for short periods of time. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, okay, I think the stance itself is good. But what the heck is this shield doing in her back? She never actually takes it off. What is this? Is it supposed to like protect her back or something? Because it's she's not using it to like, I don't know, protect the front. Which is, I feel like, more important in this case. Very good stance. You know, very respectable. I like it. And very, very good stance right there. Leg down. Uh, good base. Very stable. I like it. I like it. Okay, first things first, keep the food off the battlefield. Uh, we do not want to get distracted by that, so eat eat your food. Grenade. Okay, what's this? What is this? Okay, even though this is like a rocket launcher, and I think rocket launchers don't really have that much kick to them, that is a very unstable stance. What the heck is going on here? Someone could just sweep kick you and you would fall down. Bad. That is actually really bad. Food distraction, bad stance. That is not great. Not great at all. Actually very respectable. She knows what she's doing. She's been out in the battlefield for quite a bit. So good job, Bandit. I cannot see her stance, but whatever she's doing, I think she's doing very well. Very well. Yeah. Can't really see anything here. Okay, I think that's a f okay stance, uh, though she seems like she's on her tippy toes and not actually kneeling on, on both knees. I'm not too sure about that. It is uh, not exactly the greatest. I can't exactly see what your other leg is doing, but from what I can see on your right leg, it seems to be fairly stable. My only concern is the footwear, but she seems to be used to it. So I'm not going to nitpick too much on that. Oh, that's actually a pretty good sniper. Looks fairly realistic. Her stance is also realistic. Her left leg seems to be raised a little bit. Enough to take one shot, but that it, I don't think it's gonna make a four very stable shot. So not good for like any intense concentration needs right there. Uh, you know what, Ashley? That's not a terrible stance right there. Yeah, that's actually not a terrible stance right there. Other, th other than the skirt length, I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. Uh, she definitely has been doing this. She's been around the block for a few times. She definitely knows what she's doing. If I, if I had to nitpick on something, maybe her heels would have been one, but I think her heel is actually short enough to where it's not going to be a hindrance and so it's not too bad okay i'm not familiar with this weapon uh but whatever she's doing she's doing her ninja thing and uh this is out of my jurisdiction that we don't have this back in girls front line so yeah yeah you do you you do you 
can't exactly see, well, no, I can kind of see your footing a, a little bit. It seems to be pretty stable. Uh, but I don't exactly know what else you're doing, how you're holding the gun, but I think, yeah, she, she, she's got it, she's got it, she's she's good there, she's good. Alright, let's see what you... A sword. Lady, this is a gun game. Um, I think a sword would not work too well in, in this... Oh! Oh, I'm guessing, oh, she swings so fast that she uh, emits energy with that thing. Okay, I see where we're going here. That is a classic uh, swordsman stance, and she's not really pulling that sword out too far. She is very quick about it, so I think, yeah, she's definitely got this down. Um, I don't think that has any recoil at all, so she's not really going to be affected by her stance. So, yeah, I guess she's okay. Okay, you know, there's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. There's pretty good stance, solid. Your stance is a little odd, if I have to say so myself. Um, the AR has a decent amount of kick. I don't know what that thing you are holding it to the side. That might be her main weapon that she's not actually using. The AR might actually be her sidearm. Uh, that said, I don't know if her main weapon being on the side here is going to be... Uh, issue with her balance or whatnot, or it might actually help her with her balance. I'm not exactly sure, but stance-wise, it's a little. Her leg is a little awkward. Mm, volume. Um, I don't know about the stance. Uh, this is yeah. The squatting stance is fairly stable in most situations, but I don't know if that's gonna help you with your with your shots. Uh, it seems to have a lot of vibrations. You're like you're, you're taking a lot of a kick from that thing, small as it is. Uh, yeah, that's a way too much kick. But you seem to be fairly stable. I don't know about being in your tippy toes on this one. I would be a little bit more flat, maybe in a triangle position. I I don't know. That's that's just my opinion. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a stance I think an AR would be using, but you know, for a gun like this with unknown recoil, this might be optimal. She seems to know what she's doing. Slow startup, uh, fairly stable. She definitely knows how to handle that thing. It's quite heavy, especially with that case in there. And kneeling posture is correct. Good, not too bad. Mm, she seems to be a little bit hot. She is quite hot and needs to cool down a lot, it seems. Uh, the ice cream in her mouth while she's firing may be of an issue. Otherwise, stable stance with the AR, flat uh, shoes, ideal. So no problems whatsoever. What is that? Is that a machine gun with a giant silencer? I have no idea, uh, to be honest. But... Uh, Stance-wise, questionable, especially when she's on her tippy toes. Uh, there, there's a lot of kick to that gun. The heel is not exactly the best for stability, especially with it being so long. But uh, she's, I mean, I guess if she falls flat on her butt, she'll be okay. My space scratched up a little bit. That gun has a little bit of interesting design. It, has, it seems like a like a almost like an anti-tank gun, but miniaturized. Though the sight being up so far up front, what the heck is up with that? I don't think it's supposed to be up front like that. Uh, pos Posture-wise, though, this is pretty bad for a sniper. Her aim is going to be so so off. I don't know how she pulls this job off. To be honest, it's. It's not very stable, if you ask me. It's not very stable. Her shots are going to miss so much. From what I can tell, it's a little hard to see uh, through the hair. She seems to be fairly stable with her footing. And I don't think this thing has that much kick to it, though you do see the, the butt of this thing right up to her. So they might have a little bit of kick, but she's fairly stable, so no issues with that. She's got a fairly good stance. My only issue with this girl is you see the heels. The heels are way too long, way too pointy. Um, 
I don't think that's gonna work too well in the actual fight. She that that thing's gonna break. It looks very fragile. I I worry about that. You can't exactly take extra shoes into the battlefield normally. But she does have a bag here, so maybe she's got spares. What is up with this uh, leg out posture that we've seen with some of the girls so far? Why is that a thing? Is that actually stable? I don't think it's stable. Also, if you look at her gun, it's kind of like a heavy machine gun or at least some sort of machine gun type. It looks like it has a quite a bit of kick to it. And her left her left foot is kicking quite a bit. It seems to be fairly stable, but she's gonna slip. I feel like she's gonna slip eventually with that right foot so far out. Uh, it's not great. I don't think that's a good pose for you. Well, she seems to have the same issues with most snipers uh, regarding the the aiming and whatnot. And considering how long this thing is, that has to be on something stable. It's, I don't think she's she's. I mean, she kind of has a position, but she definitely needs something more stable than just holding it out like that. Another sniper. She's definitely got style, to give her that. Um, her body's a little bit too far out, I feel. Yeah, definitely needs a tripod. All snipers will need a tripod, but otherwise her stance seems to be okay. But I feel like her body's a little bit leaning too far out, otherwise. Uh, shotgun, lots of kick. Definitely a lot of kick. She has the pose... Well, she has the stance to... what do you call this? To absorb that shock, and it shows. She's absorbing a lot of shock from that uh, from that gun. It's uh, it's working quite well, so no complaints here. You are a sniper. I don't know about this cover stance. It's a little bit lazy. You need to wake up a little bit. Uh, leg out, um, not too far out. It's not as egregious as some of the other ones that we've seen, but this is. You know, it's actually not too bad. The, it looks like a smaller sniper gun, so it, it might actually not be terrible. I just worry about her aim sometimes. She has been known to miss. A sniper on tippy toes. What the heck? Okay. Recommendations, don't do that. Tippy toes on a sniper? And also... I mean, come on. Why are you holding this thing? Look, look at her hand positions over here. Yeah, she can carry that easily. She might be able to stabilize herself like that. But she doesn't have a good base. Look at this. The base is all wrong. She's on her tiptoe. She's squatting on her tiptoes. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Someone needs to teach her proper sniping technique. And that is not proper sniping technique. Also, actually, I put the phone down. You're in battle. Okay. Leg position's not bad. My only worry about this is that... Look at her footwear. Her footwear is an issue. Slippers uh, is, is not good on most grounds, even on concrete, unless you're just taking for a walk. In the battlefield, even much worse. Much worse in the battlefield. Those are going to slip right off. She's going to trip on her feet. Minus points for footwear. Otherwise, stance would be okay otherwise. Good stance, no complaints. What is going up with what is going on with this uh this leg? What's going on with this leg? That's so far out. This is the least stable stance we have ever seen. Uh even even less stable than Alice's stance. Leg out, what are we doing here? Yoga? The leg out thing? Extremely questionable. Extremely questionable. She's like doing this for style points, but she's gonna get herself hurt one of these days. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, let's see. On her knees, I think. It's a little hard to tell, but I'm gonna guess she's on her knees. If she's not on her knees, she's basically squatting on tiptoes. I'm gonna assume she's on her knees, though, because that looks like the position here. On her knees, uh, sniping. This is actually not terrible. Uh, again, it would help if she had something to put the gun on. But then again, this is a short barrel. This is a short barrel uh, sniper gun, so maybe it's not too bad. 
proper stance, absorbs a lot of shocks. Very good. Very good. Very stable. Very, very stable. No complaints whatsoever. Also, very nice drip. Hey, proper shotgun technique, uh, proper stance. No complaints. What is this? What the heck is this design? It's like it's like a a leveler. Probably not a whole lot of recoil here, but I do question why the right leg is so far back. But then again, she might be left-handed, right-handed. I don't know exactly how it works. I mean, she does have the same uh, stance with her arms as everyone else, but everyone else doesn't put their right leg so far back. Questionable on how much it helps, but I don't think recall is going to be an issue. Okay, so she's got a violin. Oh, okay, so we're going to be saying hi to her little friend. Proper stance, a lot of uh, good absorption with that stance. Hey, no complaints. What is this with le this leg out? She's part of the leg out club. It is a small gun, probably has a decent amount of kick, but not enough kick to knock her off her feet. I'm, I'm just, re I just really don't like this leg out thing. It's very questionable stability wise. Yeah, at least she's got uh, flat shoes to help. You know what? This might actually be proper stance. As odd as that might look, this might actually be proper stance for Bazooka. It, it, it's stable. It's stable. It's good for one shot, and, and Bazookas normally only have like one shot, so yeah. Surprise. So I'm guessing this is some sort of plasma shot, and it's using some of her energy to shoot. Interesting. Seems to have a tiny bit of recoil. I can't exactly tell. Stance is fine though. It is a huge gun. It looks like it has some, what do you call these, like little tripod legs on the front. She doesn't seem to be using it though. That's my only issue. You seem to be peeking out from the side, so maybe not the, exactly the most stable thing in the world. Definitely the stance could use a little bit of help. Uh, you definitely need more stability overall. You're not using the, the little legs on the gun. Overall, I would say it's not great. Proper shotgun stance. My only issue is the, the heels, but I guess if she digs the heels enough into the concrete, it might work. Gonna be some fairly hard digging into concrete though. Looks like it's uh, some sort of light machine gun. Very stable stance though. She's got flat shoes, which helps quite a bit. Her stance is low. Stability is all important here, and she's got the stability factor. She's got the stance, but she's kind of like squatting like um, a Russian here or something like that. Wide squat. Very high heels, very thin high heels. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe if it's for like a shot or two, it might be okay. But the high heels are going to break eventually. Though this, these brands of shoe, it looks fairly stable. So that might not be a huge issue. Kind of has the uni stance, uh, though a little bit higher up. But fairly stable stance, both knees. Uh, might need a little bit of support and a spotter for this, but not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good. What am I good at? Um, good stance, good enough to absorb all the shocks. Not bad, not bad at all. And for some reason these double handguns are firing like an SMG. Interesting. How, what, how big is the clip on these things? I have no idea. Uh, she has the stance, I guess. Flat shoes help. Quite a bit of recoil, surprisingly. I mean, the, the, the gun holding thing like that is not stable to begin with, but then again, you're not, I guess you're not really worried about accuracy when you're shooting like that. I'm more worried about her, her footing, which seems to be okay for the most part. I think, this, I think it's mo mainly the shoes. It's mainly the shoes that help her footing here. She's got a lot of breed. A lot of uh, recoil. As we can see, a lot of recoil. Her stance is, I think, a little bit hampered by her skirt. She does have slits on those skirt, but she can't really kneel down too far. 
and I think that's hurting her stance a little bit. I'm kind of curious how she's able to fire like that in a like half kneeling position for an extended period of time. I, th I don't think it's the greatest uh, stance whatsoever. What is this? It's a very stable stance, whatever she, whatever the heck she's doing. But, like, the leg being bent like that up front, okay, I, I can accept that. But what the heck is that back leg doing, that left leg? Why is it so flat? Is this proper? I don't know. I mean, it's stable, but is it proper? You know what? That's actually quite a bit of kick for this shotgun. And I, I'm... I think her stance is fine. I'm only a little worried that her legs, her legs seem very, very thin to absorb those shocks, but she's, she's doing quite well otherwise. Surprisingly, able to absorb those shocks from the shotgun. Interesting, uh, interesting firing stance there. She's kind of half kneeling in a W position. It is very stable. Um, you don't really need a whole lot of accuracy with an SMG, I guess, to begin with. It's stable at least, but that's an interesting position. Uh, she won't be able to get up and escape quickly, though. I mean, they like to try to convince you that you that she can, uh, going back and forth like this, but I don't think so in, in a real situation. Uh, leg down, well, knee down, and I guess slightly bent front, uh, left knee? Stable-ish? Question mark. Absorbs a lot of shocks. Nice, very nice. No real issues here. She's doing, she's doing a good job. Okay, okay. So she's definitely got a, a lot of muscle to be able to carry this. I got you. Okay, we'll give that to her. She's a big girl. She can handle herself. However, I guess her stance is stable. No real questions about that. How is she holding that though in in this stance? How is she still? How is she not slipping? I feel like I feel like she would need flat shoes. The heels don't really help, or at least like widen her stance a little bit more, because that is a minigun. That is heavy. I don't care how strong she is. That that's a lot of that's a lot of recoil. That's a lot of recoil. Have you seen Claire hold a minigun? She doesn't hold it like this. No way. No way. Okay, so I think that's all the girls. So yeah, thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching the this video. I hope you enjoyed the review for the firing stances. <laughs> I did. And this might not be the last of it. Uh, this game is going to be around for a little while. So it's interesting. It's interesting. All right. See you all guys next time. Bye.